Mr. Bandit 81 here, aka the Sci Fi Bandit, with three build reviews out of the Ninjago Greatest Ninja Battles Build Your Own Adventure Book. The first build would be somewhat like the restaurant booth here for the uh, ninjas now from how it looks here and the actual build it's going to look a bit different uh, than seen here had some fun giving it my own look just using what pieces I had out As for the other build, or builds, I should say, would be the kitchen sink and the stove. Or in this, the galley sink and the stove. Figured these three builds would go together with another build I put together of uh, the same book. For the noodle bar. Figured the uh, Sky Pirate builds for the uh, sink and stove would work good with uh, this place here. Now let's take a look at the first build being the table for the ninjas. And here we are with all the ninjas with Wu, except for Missing Pixel, who might be out on a separate mission at the moment. Uh. Using the, the space plate here for the uh, main area holding the chairs for the ninjas here, which happens to be uh, one of these base plate type bricks. And I was just seeing how these would do for chairs for the ninjas. With a smaller one being used for Sensei Wu here. With uh, a table set up for them waiting for the food to arrive. I know there's not much uh, set up on the table, but... They're definitely waiting patiently and talking about an upcoming possible adventure, perhaps. Which I've got in mind as we speak, already wrote down. And yes, I know I've got uh, ninjas from different... Uh, points in the uh, timeline form including the the movies or movie except for Nia herself who is who came with the Great Ninja Battles book but I thought I'd give it a bit of a mix with the uh, ninjas here Get, make it seem like uh, having fun with some different costumes here. As for the kitchen area, the kitchen sink, and 
the stove area. For a little extra fun, right out of the Ninjago, Lego Ninjago movie, Mystery Packs. Thought I'd add the cook or chef character. Make it seem like uh, this was his kitchen. Now let's uh, start with the kitchen sink here. As you can see, there's already some uh, dishes in the sink, part itself. And a faucet ready to pour in some more water. Uh, this somewhat looks like uh, what you'd probably saw in the, uh, the book with uh, some changes to it. So it looks on the other side. Figured uh, I'd use the swords for a little more decor decorative part. Plus, if any thieves do try to break in to get that day's uh, profits, the chef can definitely get the swords down if need be for defense or spook off the thieves. Probably. And uh, as for these pieces here, figured the. Uh, hmm. Maybe a soap detergent, uh, some sort of cleaner, perhaps, or something for uh, a little extra detail. Just about, it can be just about anything you would want them to be for in the kitchen. Moving on to the stove part. As you can see, there's already some pizza, fish, and chicken ready to head on out. Uh, this plate heading to one table, pizza heading to another, perhaps. For a little extra fun for the stove, used a base plate with an image on it from the Ninjago movie make it look like uh, controls for the oven itself which does have some fire at the top here to make it seem like it's cooking All three ideas right out of the the book, and for fun, to separate the kitchen area from the uh, rest of the tables. I did put something together for a little extra fun. Figured. I'd add a doorway that would go between the kitchen and the dining area. Using the uh, same method with the uh, kitchen sink, giving the doorway some extra detail with the uh, hat piece just above the doorway to help break uh, the two areas apart hope you enjoyed the video and until next time 
Have a good one.